Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. This week, we are focusing on our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Hope things are going good. Hope you're staying consistent and persevering. I know it's tough at times. Your belly gets hungry or you want to turn for the remote, whatever you're fasting. But that's the point. It's in those moments when you want to give in to that thing that you've given up to remind you to focus on Jesus. And so this week we've been talking about people in the Bible that are fasting and what they're fasting for. Today we're actually gonna talk about King David from the Old Testament and how he fasted when his son was hit with illness. Now this is a very interesting story. We're gonna only read a couple of verses today, but if you see in your follow along thing that we gave you, again, you can request a copy if you don't have one. We gave you a whole big section that gives you a lot more of the context going on here. But basically, now this is not how God operates, in New Testament times, but in the Old Testament time, David's son got ill in response as a consequence for a sin that he had done. Yeah. And God had already made the determination that you're going to have to give up your son through this illness because of what you did. And yet, even in that state, David cried out to a merciful God and asked God through fasting on behalf of his son. That's right. So this is uh, Daniel, 2 Samuel chapter 12, starting in verse 16. David pleaded with God for the child. He fasted and spent the nights lying in sackcloth on the ground. Now, sackcloth is that very itchy, not comfortable clothing. Morning clothing. Yes. Not like morning clothing. It's morning clothing, right? Yes. Breathing clothing. A sacrifice. It's it's to signify that you're in a a season of mourning. That's right. Mm Mm-hmm. Verse 17, the elders of his house, household stood beside him to get up from the ground, but he refused and would not eat any food with them. Yeah, and so in this season, David fasted for what? For someone he knew that needed a healing. Mm-hmm. And that's what we want to challenge you to fast for today. It might be your own personal healing. Maybe you have a physical or mental ailment that you want to pray for. Maybe it's a loved one like a son is in this scenario. But we know that we serve a miracle working God. And so take some time today focusing on praying for those that you know that are in a physical state that they need a touch from the Lord. And trust God that he knows what is best. Hey, we thank you so much for tuning in today. And we hope to see you again tomorrow for another daily dose for spiritual spiritual growth. growth.